Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gretchen Jensen. So glad you're here. Thank you so much for being always so supportive. Um, have you ever felt like, or maybe you're feeling like it right now, like I'm doing all the steps, I'm saying my affirmations, I'm scripting, I'm listening to tons of talks, I'm uh, doing my subconscious work, and things just aren't moving. We've all felt that. And if that's how you're feeling right now, I want you to to really kind of talk about this for a second because this kind of landed on me in a way that made sense because I've been in that same situation where I'm just like, I know I'm doing everything right, right, um, but the needle's not moving. And sometimes we can get so focused on the checklist. We can get so focused on making sure we're doing it right because when you really get down to it, there's a feeling of being I'm not worthy to have what I want just because I want it. I've got to prove that I'm worthy to have these things because I'm actually making my effort in doing them. And that's kind of been ingrained in a lot of us from religion that you have to be worthy or you have to work and you have to do your part. Um, and I'm certainly not saying that we just sit back and don't exercise faith that's not what I'm saying but what I am saying is it tends to get in the way when we want to have a blessing or manifestation whatever you want to call it come to us and we feel like we're doing all of our part but the most important thing that we're leaving out is the knowing the faith you know the statements I am are so important and it's not just words it's because you're actually declaring, you're actually putting a stamp. I am, I am whatever it is. That is saying something of truth. And when truth is spoken, things move, right? And so when you say I am whole and healthy, you don't have to have things back it up to prove that you're whole and healthy. It is a statement, a declaration that you are making that you are stating that is truth. It is truth. You don't have to prove truth in this situation, right? Or if you have um, financial problems and you're trying to manifest money, I am blessed. I am prosperous. I, I am financially blessed. I am living the financial freedom that I want. Again, you're stating it, you're saying it, you're declaring it. You're not wishful thinking. That's something that I think it's really easy to get into a space that we think, someday I'm gonna be this way. Someday I'm gonna lose 20 pounds. Someday I'm going to be a singer. Someday, you know, whatever it is. And that tends to always put us in a place where it's like, when is that gonna happen? When is that going to happen? And why don't we think we're worthy enough to have it right now? You know, it's not like the universe goes, okay, Gretchen, I'm going to, I'm going to hold off on all these blessings and I'll wait and give it to you when I think you're ready. It doesn't really work that way. If I declare it and I want it and I state it and I ask for it right now, if I line up with that vibration, if I line up through my faith, that is what gets it going. I know that I for many years thought, well, if it's God's plan, and if I do all these things that I need to do to make sure I show that I'm worthy, or I show that I'm humble, or I show that I'm whatever that might be, um, then, then maybe by the grace of God, I will get these things. But what if it were different? What if it were a matter of God, universe is up there going, what do you want? I'm your concierge in the sky. What do you want? What can I do for you today? What, what, what would make you feel great? What would make you happy? What can I do to show you how awesome you are? What if it was that way? And what if you got up in the morning and you said, you know what? Today, I'd like to really see movement in my career. Or I'd like to really see some really amazing uh, news come to me. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And you say that in a way that you expect it because you have the faith that you're never alone, that things are working out for you, that the universe has your back. You have the faith. It's not a matter of you being over God. It's not a matter of you thinking, 
um, I deserve this, give it to me right now, like a spoiled child. That's not what we're doing. We're talking about actually owning what is yours, what's already been created for you, what's already waiting for you. Ask and you shall receive. This is the exercise of faith that I keep trying to talk about is when you believe what you want to come to you, when you believe what you want is already happened, it's already in heaven, it's already waiting for you, then you will receive it. I appreciate y'all being here. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.